All right, you guys. Well, today I have for you this beautiful 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Take you around this SUV, show you what it's all about. Really love that Jeep seven slot grill right there. Very nice, like boxy kind of styling to it. I like these wheels too, these really big wheels. They look really good. Um, as you can see, this is a limited trim level. Check out the cargo area. And as you can see, this is actually a pretty big cargo area. Um, this is just the regular standard Grand Cherokee and it's not the Grand Cherokee L. But as you can see, you get pretty good storage back here. No third row, but uh, still not bad. And you get a nice big spare tire back here. But uh, we'll close up the trunk here. The button is actually right here, just like the old Grand Cherokee. And show you guys how fast this closes. And it's pretty quick, as you can see, not too bad. We'll try out the back seat. And as you can see, it's pretty roomy back here. Um, really can't complain at all. It's perfect, honestly. Uh, you get heated rear seats. You get two USBs and two USB-Cs. And you also get a household style power outlet right there. You get two map pockets. Um, and yeah, it's, it's nice back here. But I'll hop out. I'll show you guys under the hood real quick. All right, so this is the 3.6 liter V6. It makes 293 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. Fairly good numbers, about average, but this is the engine. But yeah, nothing much else to go over. I will close up the hood here. All right, and let's hop in this thing. All right, first setting in, this interior is beautiful. Very nice interior. I uh, really like it a lot. One of the nicest interiors I've ever been in, to be honest. Um, the screen looks very high quality. Lots of good tech features. And this screen, this is just the home screen, shows my nav and my music. But if I go over, I can check out my climate control. You can adjust it in the screen or you can use these buttons down here, which is nice to have. It's nice that they give you the option for that. You also get a nav system. We'll check this out. It's pretty good. Uh, as you can see, touch response is very good, pretty much like a smartphone or anything like that. Um, so yeah, really not too bad there. You do get wireless Apple CarPlay. This is what it looks like. Um, yeah, very nice to have. Very nice to have wireless CarPlay. Um, but we'll go to vehicle. These are just like all your vehicle settings, like your keys, your locks, um, things like that. We'll go to our apps. Um, so as you can see, these are all the apps you get. Apple CarPlay, you get Alexa, you get um, Android Auto, you also get off-road pages. So we'll check that out. Um, so here's where you check out your steering angle. You can see if your transfer case is locked or unlocked. You have something called breadcrumbs. Um, I believe what this does is it records your where you're driving on the screen. It kind of like maps out where you go. That's kind of interesting. Um, shows my GPS coordinates and my altitude. These are all your accessory gauges. So like your oil temperature, coolant temperature, things like that. Um, as you can see, this is my roll right here and this is my pitch. So one degree of roll, zero degree pitch. And you do get your select terrain. So this select terrain page, it basically um, just shows like a graphic of what drive mode you're in. I'm not sure if it does anything else, but as you can see, there's sport mode. It's like a little racetrack. You can go into auto, you, go, you can go into snow mode, or you can go into sand and mud. And that's what they all look like. But we'll go back to auto here. Um, I've been leaving it in auto. I think it's just the best drive mode. Uh, suits this car pretty well. You do get your shifter for the 8-speed automatic. It's a dial shifter. So we'll go over to reverse. Um, there's your backup camera. As you can see, really good resolution with this backup camera. It looks super good. Go into neutral and then there's drive over here. But we'll go back to park. Two cup holders. You do get a center console. 
Uh, not the biggest, you know, it's doable, but I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger, if I'm honest. And you do get a glove box, it's a good size. Um, and you also get this really nice panoramic roof. We'll try opening this up here, see how that is. It doesn't go back super far, but it's nice having that big glass window up there. But we'll close that up. Um, you can also close the shade, but I'll leave it open for right now. Uh, adds a lot of nice light into this interior. You get heated seats three level. You also get a heated steering wheel. Um, you do get these really nice volume and tune controls. Down here, you know, you get more climate controls like your front and rear defrost. Uh, you do get your climate mode, your AC, your fan speed is right here, as is your temperature. So very easy to control the climate in this car. Only 321 miles on this Grand Cherokee, so it is pretty new. In this center screen, by the way, this looks really good too. Um, you do get your radio station. We can check out our various like off-road data right here. We can see, you know, our mileage and our engine running time, our MPG as well. 16.8, uh, almost 17, really not too bad. You can hide your odometer, that's kind of interesting. Uh, you can show like your current gear. If you want, that's kind of interesting. I'll leave that on showing my current gear. But yeah, I don't want to mess with this too much because I do like how it is now. But we'll keep going up here. I'll leave it on the radio station. I think that's a good screen. Um, but yeah, this is how you control your screen. These are your Bluetooth phone controls. Um, over here, you have your adaptive cruise control. This is your following distance. You do get these nice paddle shifters on the wheel. And what's interesting is the they aren't very big uh, because they had to make room just below the paddle shifter for the volume and the tune control on the back of the wheel. Um, you know, you get your turn signals and wiper stalks, your window controls, power mirrors. Um, you do get your electronic e-brake right here. Uh, you do get your headlight controls, uh, pretty standard. You do get memory seats in here too. I could pretty much go on all day about the features in this Grand Cherokee, and this isn't even a fully loaded model. The Alpine sound system is really good in here, sounds excellent, but we'll get this thing out on the road. We'll talk about how it drives. It's gonna put it in drive here and we will set off. Kind of a big turning radius, but really not too bad. About average, I would say. All right. So one thing you can kind of tell about this Grand Cherokee is it's definitely a more comfort focused vehicle. Uh, they really, they really went out of their way to make this car feel so luxurious. Um, it's just such a, it's such a plush ride. It's got really hushed road noise. If just like everything in this car just feels really high quality. I'm actually very impressed with it. Stepping on these brakes, they feel great. I mean, they bite down pretty much right away. And they, it's a nice stiff pedal. You feel like you're gonna stop exactly on time. Uh, barely have to lean into it for the car to make a nice, complete stop. Fairly responsive. Just kind of tap the gas and the car wants to go. Very smooth V6. Um, really like the smooth power band of it. It's not like very powerful, but it's like definitely enough to get you by. This isn't like the type of vehicle you start drag races in, um, but you know, it's decent, like it moves. Um, this car gets up and goes like just fine.
definitely a big vehicle to drive. Uh, I just feel like you're kind of towering over everything in this. Get this big front hood in front of you and just um, overall feels like a large vehicle. But yeah, this thing really does take off and uh, that eight speed automatic really helps it too. Um, shifts are very smooth and very quick from this eight speed. Actually, you know, I do wanna talk about that. Um, this eight speed automatic really does impress me. Um, it's just like eager. It's eager to go. Like we'll try making a little pass here. Yeah, it's just like, as you can see, uh, that might have been a little bit frowned upon right there, but uh, this thing, it, just to demonstrate, I mean, it's responsive. Uh, it really does move. As for the steering, um, the actual steering wheel, pretty much the only thing noteworthy is like, it just feels nice. Like the leather is silky smooth and this wheel feels very high quality to touch. Um, doesn't respond particularly fast or anything. Doesn't feel very sporty. Um, it is very consistent and very linear. Like you turn the wheel and you feel like the car goes where you're turning it. But it's not what I'd call sporty. Doesn't have a whole lot of feel to it. Um, it's just kind of isolated, but you know, that's okay. You don't really buy this type of vehicle to get like a super sporty steering. Feels good in your hand, but it's also just kind of numb uh, to steer. Very quiet in here. Um, just a really hushed amount of road noise. Definitely one of the quieter SUVs that I've been in. Yeah, just really responsive. Keeps up with traffic pretty well. I have good visibility. Um, I can see over this front hood pretty well. It is a pretty big front hood, but you can see over it just fine. Um, pretty thin pillars, big mirrors, and a big back window. So really, um, haven't had any issues with the visibility in here. You also get that really nice backup camera, which helps a lot. Auto start stop kicks on very quickly. Uh, definitely like that too. As for the handling, um, it's pretty soft. Really not much of a corner carver. It can go around corners just fine. You just don't feel very inspired to drive quickly. Um, we'll try some corners up here and I'll kind of show you what I mean. So here's a nice corner that we'll try. Yeah, a little bit like top heavy. Um, definitely not the corner carver that some other SUVs are, but you know, not too bad, not too bad. As long as you just drive normally, it's fine. But we'll check out the turning radius here. Cut the wheel all the way. Yeah, it's decent, you know, not bad. Try out another corner.
Yeah, it can definitely move around the corner. It's just got some body lean. Not a huge amount of like lean, but it is like enough to make you sort of second guess a little bit. Um, we'll go around this other corner. Steering does a decent job of being precise. Yeah, not too bad. There are some other SUVs that might feel a little bit less top heavy. But this really isn't bad. Uh, this handling isn't something that I wasn't expecting. Not something that would dissuade me from buying it if I was in this market of vehicle. All right, we're gonna get this thing on the highway, see how it does. Gets up to highway speeds pretty good, as you can see. Try a little pass right here. Transmission responds pretty quickly. Gotta rev it out occasionally, but you know, it does pass pretty well. Fairly quiet on the highway. Um, not a whole lot of wind or road noise. Do a slight brake check. All right. Yeah, they slow you down very good. Like I said, you barely have to lean into the pedal for this car to stop. Try a more normal acceleration here. Very smooth. Gets you up and moving. Try our Cloverleaf off ramp here. It's not bad actually. I mean, it does have its limit though, for sure. The engine and performance kind of reminds me of the last generation a little bit. I mean, I suppose that's not a surprise considering it's the same engine. Decently maneuverable and easy to drive for a big SUV.
pretty comfortable seats. Um, they are a little bit on the hard side, but they're still pretty comfortable. I like sitting in them. Uh, they got a nice range of adjustability. Very nice interior. This car is just an amazing place to spend time. All right, you guys. Well, I think I'll end the video here. 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Very nice SUV to drive. It's very luxurious in here. Hits all those key points that you want in a luxury car. Um, it's very quiet. Everything feels very nice. Everything looks nice. Everything's very responsive. Lots of good technology. Just a really good car from Jeep. Uh, very impressed. All right, looks like I'm gonna park it over here. Yeah, I liked it. You know, it's no sports car, but um, for the right type of buyer who wants a luxurious SUV, um, this really hits the mark, I think. But yeah, we're gonna shut it off and we're gonna hop out. All right, thanks for watching everyone.